All right, guys, we're back with the uh, part two of the van paint. So today we're going to be painting the green. As you can see, we've got her all masked off. I just wiped everything down. We've got the wheels bagged up and the uh, where the bumper mounts are for the frame. So what we're going to be doing is just spraying all the green right now. Um, and uh, after we do that, we're just gonna do one coat of clear, just like we did on the, the champagne color. Uh, once that cures, we'll probably go ahead and uh, scuff up the existing clear on the champagne, and we're gonna clear everything at once. And I'm pretty sure we're gonna take the doors off as well, um, because the jams got a little dirty uh, when we were doing all this prepping and painting. So I think we're gonna re-clear all the hinges and uh, door jams off off of the uh, off the van so uh, getting ready to do the green and it should be looking pretty cool Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> Hold up.
right, so we're back on day two of green, and uh, we kind of ran out of paint last night with just two coats, so we decided to just uh, let it flash off overnight. There was a couple spots that we noticed, a few little scratches that we had missed uh, previously that's kind of hard to see uh, just in primer, so we went through with some 800 around all the, uh, all the dirty spots and we're getting ready to hit it with at least one more good coat, maybe even two more, and then we'll be ready to put that first coat of clear on. So just a little update on uh, stuff like that because it always happens with painting and uh, nobody's perfect. So what's important is that we're able to fix it and it's gonna be all good. All right guys, we got a little update. I had so many issues with spraying the green and it was like a few day process and it was one of those things where I just kind of was, you know, working and I didn't film. We had a few things have issues with the gun. So we had to go back and wet sand some, some spots out in order to get ready for clear again. So we have a lot of progress here that hasn't been shown. We've got all of the um, green, all the clear, everything's laid down. I went through on um, just the green because it was a little funky with the temperatures and stuff. It got a little bit orange peely. I did a 2000 grit wet sand and then I did a, uh, it's called 3M Perfected. It's a buffing compound with a um, thicker wool pad, buffed it all. And then I went back with a uh, 3M machine polish with a black foam pad. And um, it's a little dusty because we it's a little dirty in here, but you can you can tell it's it's pretty darn smooth. I'm I'm definitely uh, pretty stoked with it. So one of the things that I didn't catch on film was all of these interior pieces. They were all like a really dark green. I uh, sprayed it the same as this color right here. So we installed those. Um, Ryan got this inner panel and all the door handles and stuff with this side we are waiting on this opposite side um it's just like this the wing vent we had to have a new seal put in so we're waiting on that to get done to be able to assemble this door um and then other than that i mean we just threw the bumper on and you know the headlights and all that stuff and uh it's looking pretty good i'm i'm pretty happy with it <clears throat> all the all the rest of the windows are in besides the windshield and that um, driver's side door got some hubcaps on so I just I apologize for not filming it's just like I said one of those things I kind of got got it just working and forgot to update but um we literally have to wait on the windshield to be installed and then that wing vent and we should be like good to throw the seats in there is these little rubber um pieces that go around the glass for the mirrors that we have to get new ones of those as well but we've got the the mirrors ready to go on all of the brackets and everything are painted so we'll do probably one more final update like once i completely clean it up and it's ready to go um and then, you know, it'll be out of here. So again, sorry for the lack of filming, but hope you guys enjoy the way it's looking. Like I said, I'm pretty stoked. So be on the lookout for some other shop updates and projects and uh, be looking out for the final finish of this. Thanks for watching.